Thank you so very much, Madam Speaker and members, and thank Chairman McGovern for creating this opportunity for me to share a few remarks with you this evening. For decades, we have failed to make the kinds of investments that allow families to access equal opportunities and communities to thrive. So I rise today in strong support of the Build Back Better Act to deliver the urgent investments in our country needs uh, to thrive. I've spent my career fighting for the dignity of safe and decent homes for all. In 2019, I coined the phrase, housing is infrastructure. It hasn't been easy uh, getting to this point, but I am incredibly proud to discuss the more than $150 billion for housing investments included in today's bill that would create or preserve over 1 million homes. These investments include $65 billion to repair and rebuild our nation's public housing, $25 billion for new rental assistance to support hundreds of thousands of people struggling to afford rent and help people escape homelessness and domestic aid, uh, domestic violence, $26 billion to create and preserve hundreds of thousands of affordable and accessible housing units, and $10 billion in down payment assistance to make the dream of home ownership possible for the millions of first generation home buyers. Housing is at the heart of building back better. So members, I urge you to vote yes and help make safe, decent, and affordable housing a reality for every family. And I yield back the balance of my time.